Hello everyone and uh, welcome to our another video on job interview training course. In this video, I will teach you how to prepare for a finance officer job interview. If you are applying for a finance officer role in any organization, make sure to stay tuned to this video because I promise to help you pass your interview at the first attempt. And to achieve this objective, I'm sharing with you the top most important finance officer job interview questions along with their sample answers. I will also let you know the purpose of asking each question from the hiring manager so you can create your answer by including all those important things that I will teach you in this video. Very quickly before we get started, if you are watching my video for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming career focus content. All right, let's jump in. So the first important question that you should need to prepare for is can you explain the concept of working capital and its importance? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your understanding of working capital and its role in a company's operations, okay? So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, working capital is the difference between a company's current assets and current liabilities. It represents the liquidity available to meet short-term obligations and fund day-to-day -day operations. Effective management of working capital ensures that a company can maintain smooth operations, pay suppliers and manage inventory. Positive working capital indicates a healthy financial position, while negative working capital may signal liquidity issues. Question number 2. How do you manage financial risk within a company? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your knowledge of risk management strategies and your ability to implement them effectively. So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, managing financial risk involves identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact and implementing strategies to mitigate them. Common techniques include diversification, hedging and maintaining adequate liquidity. Regular financial analysis and monitoring can help identify emerging risk early, allowing for timely adjustments. Effective communication with stakeholders and developing contingency plans are also crucial in managing financial risks. Question number three. Can you provide an example of a time when you improved a company's financial performance? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to understand your practical experience and your ability to positively impact a company's financial health. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well, in my previous role, I identified inefficiencies in our inventory management system that were tying up significant capital. I introduced a new inventory management system that improved accuracy and reduced excess stock levels. This initiative resulted in a 15% reduction in holding costs and improved cash flow, contributing to overall financial performance improvements. Question number four. How do you stay updated with changes in financial regulations and accounting standards? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to gauge your commitment to continuous learning and your ability to adapt to regulatory changes. So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, I stay updated with changes in financial regulations and accounting standards through continuous professional development. This includes attending industry conferences, participating in webinars and subscribing to relevant publications and newsletters. Additionally, I am a member of professional organizations that provide regular updates and resources on regulatory changes. This proactive approach ensures that I remain knowledgeable and compliant with current standards. Question number five. How do you handle a situation where you have to make a difficult financial decision with limited information? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your decision making skills and your ability to handle uncertainty and pressure. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well, when faced with a difficult financial decision with limited information, I rely on a structured approach. First, I gather as much relevant information as possible and consult with key stakeholders. I analyze potential risks and benefits and consider various scenarios. If time permits, I seek input from colleagues or external experts. Ultimately, I make a decision based on the best available data and my professional judgment. 
ensuring that I am prepared to adjust the course of action if new information emerges. So there you have it, five most important finance officer job interview questions along with their sample answers. I have already uploaded a video on finance officer job description that can also help you a lot in your interview preparation. The link is in the description of this video. Always remember that practice makes perfect, so take these answers as a starting point and tailor them to your own experiences and skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe our channel Knowledge Topper and also give a thumbs up as well. You can also share it with anyone you think could benefit from it and don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future video topics. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video on Knowledge Topper. Until then keep striving for professional success. Have a good day.